up YouTube, Topaz J's back with another daily review and this one is to that Kid Cudi, Speeding Bullet to Heaven. And you know, this song was merely released because he just cancelled his whole tour that he was about to do called Especial. Now the reasons why he cancelled this tour, kinda understandable. He had a bunch of personal issues and shit, and which that I usually don't let slide, but then on top of it he had issues with actually putting together the tour to the point that if he did, it wouldn't have been on the level in which he wanted it to be. So I can kinda understand that. Don't put on subpar shows and shit. If things are going that way, instead just refund everybody money and then keep it moving and put out some new. And this project, Speeding Bullet to Heaven, is the title track for his new album and shit that he got coming out. And quite honestly, I like the concept of what he's trying to say here. Pretty much saying, no matter what, if he crashes and burns or actually succeeds at what he's trying to succeed, he's going to be happy. If he dies tomorrow, he dies motherfucking happy. And I like that concept because that's the train of thought that a lot of you guys out there need to motherfucking have, you dig? If you're going to do this shit, man, then you have to put in 100% of everything you got, dude. To the point that if you don't fucking make it because a lot of times it be out of our control, but I do feel as though if you want it bad enough, you will find a fucking way. But ultimately, if things don't happen the way you hoped they would happen, but you put in everything you could possibly do, then you could die happy knowing that, okay, it wasn't in the cause for me at that moment. But I have my issues with this overall as a track because that type of concept should be more of a happy kind of concept, right? I would die happy no matter what the fuck happens from this moment. But instead, when you listen to the melody of that production and such, it comes off very melancholy and such. Kind of comes off very depressed. And I definitely feel as though those two things conflict with each other, really taking away any quality from this damn track. Even though I like the concept, literally not that damn strong, man. The production really wasn't that damn good. Didn't really even like that hook either, man. Even though I enjoyed the concept of it, man, not a track that I would recommend to people because the quality of the song is what's most damn important. But this concludes today's review, man, and we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer J Tracks before we take some of your questions. Don Kalino says that Rick Ross cannot outwrap Little Wayne and such, but yet Rick Ross can outwrap Drake. And you know what? Cannot agree with you on that shit, my dude. Because quite honestly, you're sleeping on Drake the same way people slept on Drake when they said that he couldn't outwrap Meek Mill. That back to back showed that he has more battle balls than Rick Ross has ever motherfucking had in his entire career. And Economics said pretty much a bunch of things that I want to reply to and shit. Pretty much saying why is it the Confederate flag is just now become a motherfucking issue. Saying that the flag was once a sign of racism but not so much anymore. And he in yellow Wolf as white people did not contribute to slavery and such so therefore they don't owe apologies or none of that bullshit but okay let me break down why everything you said is motherfucking wrong. The confederate flag raising in southern states have always been a motherfucking issue going back to when they lost the motherfucking war. But you don't believe me? Do you remember the Chris Rock show which pretty much aired back in 1997? Search that in confederate flag and you'll see the same shit that's been happening recently was talked about in that shit. So obviously, 18 years ago was an issue, but this is an issue going all the way back. Secondly, saying that the flag isn't a symbol of racism and shit anymore, say damn lie, when it was first designed, it was a symbol of motherfucking racism. Why is it that a lot of these people who slaughter all motherfucking people always have some type of love for that motherfucking flag? It's not a fucking coincidence. And lastly, you and all these other white people out here that still benefit from slavery in shit, y'all are still just as motherfucking bad because the money from slavery, which is considered being old money, is still in existence today. They just took the slavery money, put it into insurance, then after insurance, they put it into the railroads, then after the railroads, they put it into the fucking banks as it continued to stockpile, and that's how you have a bunch of families with old money that will never go anywhere. So damn all that bullshit. Your ancestors did shit to my ancestors, and yet you still profiting from it to this day. So fuck all that, you're not fucking responsible. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.